Um, so what you do is that you know you pretty much with a you know with a straight saw cut the pieces. In this case, this is the height and this is the the width. And you want to make sure that you are like a little about half inch shorter than the space that you have there. Obviously on the the outside of the of the cuts. And the idea is that sometimes when the when the boards are kind of crooked or whatever, you end up like squeezing this and forcing the 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 cabinet inside there or the little niche. Um, so you don't want to do that. You want to make make it you know um, comfortable enough for you to put it in and actually your trim those four pieces are the ones that are going to hold your piece on the side this is not for like heavy stuff so we have the two vertical parts the four pieces in the middle to make three spaces and then we have the back and and then you know the molding so we're going to use the pneumatic gun and we're going to use some like inch and a half nails and then some like staples in the back for this thing and some inch and a half nails for that one as well and then some caulk and you know just just kind of put it right there make it nice and level and just set it up over there um and you know that's it's convenient sometimes you want to put like little um um i don't know um scents in you know like bathroom scents inside there or maybe you want to put some toiletries or whatever but it works really well whenever you have a little bit of space i always try to you know make it as useful as possible so what i decided to do is actually um, use the, um, instead of like the bottom shelf, I actually cut it in half and I put this little piece on the side so you can actually put like a, some magazines on the bottom. So the idea would be to, um, to kind of finish the, the top, the, the back, and then, um, using the square, making sure that everything is nice and square. You use the staples, you can use like hand staples or small nails for the pneumatic gun. You don't need to have this. I mean, I happen to have it, so I use it. So I'm going to do that stuff and I'm going to put the trim around it. So as you can see, um, now with the frame around and the back and all the stuff, it looks, it looks really cool. I use the staples on the, on the casing and to like put them together, I, I, I put some inch and a half uh, nails to kind of make the frame nice and strong. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add the, the caulk around the perimeter and I'm just going to cover the little things with like some like painter's putty. And I don't have that many issues in the inside, so whatever I find little little cracks and stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put them like that. And then um, I'm just gonna show you how to make the cutout on the wall. So this is the wall where the little half wall where the uh, shelf is gonna be or the niche is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna use the top of the of the casing, you know, right flush with the top over here. And it's gonna be, you know, the cutout is gonna be right there so we can cross that in between. Previously, I marked the areas where the studs are so I know exactly where I need to cut and that's why I made my, my size according to the theme. This is gonna be a surface that's gonna be changed for stone and blah, blah, blah. So, so you know, it's a little rough, but it's okay. I mean, we're talking about this now. <laughs> so yeah, let me make the cutout. You can do it with a utility knife, with an oxalating saw, with you know whatever you want to use. You'll be careful with walls that you have some wiring. This one doesn't have anything, but just in case, just be careful. And now, as you can see, we went ahead and installed the our little niche so it's a really cool niche you know from the three spaces for shelving to like one and then for the magazines and stuff like that i think it's a good choice so um what else i'm gonna just add some like two inch nails because i know that we have a beam here and we have a beam there so that will be enough i have the pneumatic gun here and obviously i just do the little uh, corrections there but that's pretty much it so um thank you so much for watching like always i Try to do my best and just give you some of my ideas so you can take it and just kind of make your own creations and stuff like that or just have general knowledge about you know all these things that it's better to have them not not to so if you're not a subscriber please subscribe if you are thank you as always and i'm here for you know any question or any concern you know if i can help i will help so i'll see you in the next one Bye bye